guys, welcome back to Yik's R Us. I'm Jessica and today we're on another cooking adventure. I am calling this my leftover ravioli. And it is so easy. I made it once this afternoon and it was such a hit that I'm making it again and I'm just using the rest of my leftovers to make this ravioli. It's crunchy, the inside the filling is super tasty. So we had it this afternoon and Everyone loved it. I have a little bit left of the raw ingredients, so I figured I would show you how to make this so that you can also make your own version of leftover ravioli. Here we go. This is ridiculously easy to make. If you have some leftover wonton wrappers, that's pretty much all you need to start. This is not enough for an actual wonton meal, so I figured that I would just use this as ravioli. So I have this. I was making a spaghetti sauce, and it's just like a more rustic spaghetti sauce, and I had some leftover. I figured, hey, let's try putting in some wonton wrappers boil it up and then fry it up and see where that leads us and it was delicious legit delicious so here we go all you need to do to get these wrappers going is you take one wrapper okay so separate out the wrappers because it'll be a little bit faster you have a little bit of cool water just kind of wet the sides then put a spoonful of your filling right in the middle. Take the other end of the wrapper, put it in, and then all you wanna do is just to pinch the sides. So pinch it nice and tight. Simple as that. That's it. One. And they are now finished. Now, bring them over to my pot of boiling water. I'm just gonna put them in my wire basket, one at a time, and let it cook a little bit first before I let it go. It just kinda helps it prevent sticking from the bottom of the pot. So it's just a bit of salty water, like you would make your regular pasta. You wanna keep it stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And that doesn't need to cook very long because the filling is already pre-cooked. It's just basically you want to just cook the dough. So once I cook, I have a bit of ice water here. And last time, I'm using ice water this time because last time they kind of stuck together. So I want to stop the cooking process so it doesn't get gummy. Because these are wonton wrappers. So I'm just going to dunk them in. And hopefully that will help stop the cooking process. We'll find out! So like, these are true raviolis, I am aware of that. But it's an easy way to use up your leftovers. It was really tasty. So now I'm just going to melt some butter and let that heat up. And then I'm going to take my ravioli and I'm going to dunk it in. Smell of melted butter is always amazing. What I did last time was I just kind of squished these up so I get it to be nice and fried up and wiggle them around until they're nice and brown. I have it on a medium heat. So I'm going to flip these over again because you do want some color on it. I found the ones that were a little bit more well done, were crunchier, and they were more delicious. All right, let's clear up. And here it is, guys, my rustic leftover ravioli. So pretty. So you can actually even eat it without even pan frying it. It tasted really good, even just plain. But let's taste test one for you. So you do want to let this cool for a few minutes before actually going in for it. It just solidifies the crunch of it, but I'm going to do it right away because I need to eat the kids. So here it is. Oh my god, the smell of butter. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god, the plant texture is so good. Because like the one wrapper itself, the parts that aren't deep fried, it's a little silky, but then you get like a little bites of crunch to it, and then the filling is nice. I I'm, I made this filling a little bit zestier because I did make it as a sauce at first, but you can use like whatever leftovers you have. You can use like braised beef, you can use like even just like ricotta with some like chopped spinach or whatever you have. I mean, literally, I just wanted to use up my wonton wrapper, so I found this way and it's amazing and I'm so happy 
that it worked out well. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy cooking videos and our cooking adventure videos, make sure you do let me know by giving us a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos out every single week about eventually when we can travel again, our travel adventures, our food adventures, and of course our life adventures with our two little guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!